Hey guys, another gorgeous day today. Um, I think this classifies as one of those John Kerry days, as Tom says. Um, <clears throat> after I turned the camera off last night, I went ahead and sewed all these up. And if you haven't, you if you haven't, um, we had a video trying to get down in here is really tough to do so what I did was took one of these and this was uh, I think it was double R uh, Russ take one of these and cut it off about a quarter inch or so and uh, it makes it to where you can get down you can get down in there real easy here it is you see how the tip sticks out some still works fine still welds fine but it gives you that little bit of space that you need so you can get down into these little tight areas. So I'm gonna grind that off and uh, I've got some epoxy over there uh, inducing. And I'm thinking about buying, which I haven't done yet, but I'm thinking about, I have, I have the uh, regular high, I forgot what it's called, high build, it's not high build, but it's like a heavy duty, um, heavy body 3M seam sealer. Well, this stuff will hang off a wall. I mean, it's thick stuff. And I'm thinking about buying, and that's that moose. And, uh, they make a self leveling 3M seam sealer that I'm thinking about getting, which would make it so much nicer to be able to run me a bead of that seam sealer in here. And if it flows at all, it'll just keep running in this channel. Uh, then it self levels. So it'll be real nice instead of having trying to get my finger down in there and wipe that and it'll look like crap because it always does. But that'll be real nice. Of course, you got your rubber that goes over top of that. But uh, if any of you guys have ever used that stuff, let me know how it works. Also, I've seen people use it in these channels here. And what they'll do is they'll take it and they'll run it in here and then I guess it flows well enough that it'll kind of flow down here and you can get something to catch it but or, or stop it up in here to where it uh, doesn't run all down side of your car but uh, that'd be another deal where because this is going to be hard to get your finger down in there and smear that seam sealer down into and that uh, I think that self leveling would come in real handy anyway uh, let me know what you guys think on that. So, yeah, I'm going to do this, get this ground down, get some epoxy on it, and uh, then I'll figure out what I want to do next. See ya. All right, there it is. Got it all ground down, got the welds covered and some epoxy. Went ahead and uh, let that stuff run down into this crevice here. L literally just run down in there and coat that whole inside panel there. Uh, and of course it'll have uh, seam sealer and stuff on top of that, but uh, just temporary. This here, just temporary. I'm gonna end up taking that back off. Matter of fact, I may just go ahead and try to work some of these dents out while I'm in here doing this. And uh, I may finish this out too. I did, you saw this. Those, those dents are out, pretty much done. Uh, there's a nice one right here. This is under the spoiler, but I'm still gonna fix it just because I can. Um, and it looks like somebody see that somebody used something really abrasive through here. Obviously, they try to fix that at some point, and they just really gouge this metal up good. But again, that's gonna be underneath the the spoiler, so. That's a little bit of saving grace on that one. But you can see the dent here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and try to smooth this out as best I can. Uh, really, all in all, this really feels good. I don't really, those dents are pretty much the only thing I'm gonna have to do to it. Uh, and I'll strip it down to bare metal and um, epoxy prime it. And then go from there, so. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to get on some other stuff, and uh, I'll bring you back as I get going. Or if I run into something that I think is interesting, I'll turn the camera back on. See you. All right, so um, 
work this out as good as I can get it. I probably could spend another hour or so trying to get it better, but um, it's pretty nice. Um, hmm. You can see where I've uh, shrunk, pulled, tapped. Uh, I've used, I use my stud lever most of the time. Uh, of course, I use this this time. Uh, a lot of toys involved, but uh, and you can see it had a real big lump here and it had a, a real low spot here. Of course, I always use my Sharpie. That's my guide coat and it works out really, really well. Um, but yeah, you, you want to get your metal work as, as nice as you possibly can. That way your filler is a minimum amount. And so, uh, you know, I, and, and I metal filed this. I got the metal file down there. I metal filed this out. Now you get you get some scratches in, with your metal file, but you can 80 those out. And uh, so that's what I did. I know when I first started using a metal file, I was terrified because of all the scat scratches that I was putting in the metal. And I, you know, I thought, man, that's never coming. No, it comes out. Uh, you can 50 grit and then you can move up to 80 grit, but this come out so smooth that all I had to do is 80 grit it. So, but yeah, you can see the little divots there, little dark spots where, you know, uh, the pins were and stuff like that. I shrunk it through here. Uh, like I said, I had a pretty good lump right there. It was low here, it was high here, it was low here. So, feels pretty good, decent transition now. Uh, I think when I put my all metal here, I'll probably just run my all metal all the way down this this deal and then block it, you know, block it all smooth. And uh, so that one wasn't that bad. And the reason I'm having to, I can't get to the underneath side because of that. You remember that brace I put in there? Uh, this one is going to be the monster for sure. It uh, it's really got a pretty good dent through here so it's gonna take a while to get this one out so I'll bring you back see you so I use the actual eco as a guide coat it's already there and you can see it's low here high here a little bit low here um, so and it looks like this is just a little channel being low right through there, but that really doesn't feel too bad. This right here, as I come across this direction, this dent is pretty substantial. And then this is a lump right here you can feel. So I need to pull up on this, tap down on this. Uh, I may have to shrink this several times, pull up on this to get this to where it's a smooth transition. Um, and of course I'll use all the same tools I just did on the other. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty severe dent. I knew that going into it. Uh, to me, when I'm looking down this car, when it's nice and shiny, it needs to be just a, one smooth transition going all the way up the, the side. It doesn't need to be doing this ripple stuff, and that's what it's gonna do right now. So we're gonna take care of that. All right, I'll bring you back. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the dent here so you can get an idea of what it looks like now. This right here, is, there's no light. And as I go through, now you're starting to see a little bit of light through there. Hopefully that's picking that up. See how deep, how deep that is? That's probably at least a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch dent there. That's a pretty good size. And so, yeah, that's got to come out. But as I come back this direction, it goes away. So, and of course my guide coat there is showing exactly exactly where my low is. It's darker here. So you see I put a bunch of little, just little tiny spots. Well that's where I'll use my pins and I'll use my uh, this little guy here and pull up as I'm tapping down through here because this is a high spot. So you're trying to get the metal to, to equalize out basically from a high to a low and just make it happy, happy medium. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll bring you back. All right, I'm getting ready to pull that. You can see I put a pin right there in the very center of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up in the center and I'm gonna start working my way out. But this little pad here, as you can see on these, is adjustable for a reason. And we know our high is here, like I said before. 
So we're gonna put that pad right on that high spot. So when I pull up on this, it's pushing down on that. Uh, kind of give you a little heads up. If you guys never use a stud lever, you're thinking about getting one, that's how that's how you want to use them. Uh, again, you can over pull it. You just got to do a little bit of a time. Uh, this stud is reusable when you pull up on that, and I can't really do it with, with just one hand. But uh, yeah, when you pull up on that, pull it off and I can take my uh, ruler, put it back there, see, how, see where my progress is, put it right back on that same stud, pull up again, over and over until I get it where I want it. All right guys, see ya. Hey guys. A little heads up. This is just my opinion, completely my opinion. And you can use it. I didn't know what I'm trying to say, but basically I have still have a little bit of a high spot here. Well, I could hit that, and this is a fairly low crown hammer. I could hit that with that, and it would do fine, I'm sure. The problem you have is if you hit it too hard in a certain place, you put it in or push it down too far. So for me, just, just a tip, we'll call this the tip of the day. Uh, take your spoon, okay? Put it right on the on the high spot. And it, it evens the blowout, basically. Put it around. Probably a quarter to a half inch of filler in my car. It's probably lasted 20 years before I started cracking out. So I think filler's gotten a really, really bad name, and I say this over and over again. But for me, this is the hard work part of it. This is where you really get your skills honed in, to where you can get the metal just as perfect as you possibly can. And then if you have to do a skin coat filler, then that's what you got. But anyway, uh, Little tip for me. And, uh, I'll bring you back when I redo the uh, guide coat. All right, guys, my camera cut off. I was spot metal filing, doing all kinds of stuff. I don't know how much that'll pick up, but uh, I was trying to show it. But this camera's, I think it's on its last leg. So, um, all right. So I showed you before, and hopefully that's on there. But how much? And you can see here, there's almost literally no gap. Okay, now it's starting just, to, I mean, literally almost nothing still. All the way across, there's almost no light. So, that's what I ended up with. And hopefully, that, like I said, that'll show. It's, it's really shiny, so it may not, but yeah, that lump is gone. The dent here is gone. The high spot here is gone, and it's a nice, smooth transition like I was wanting. <laughs> so, uh, again, just a little bit of a wipe through here just to knock out these imperfections from the little pull, the little, uh, you see the little 
stud where the studs were. And uh, that's, uh, it's almost four o'clock. And uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got done today, both sides. Uh, feeling pretty good about that. I actually pulled the car outside and spun it around backwards so I could give me a nice breeze. And, um, of course, you can see my little girl over there watching TV. My wife comes back tonight, pretty excited about that. She's been in Las Vegas seeing my grandbaby for several days, so I've had my little girl with me all pretty much this whole week. So, but yep, yeah, there it is. Of course, you won't be able to really see that good until there's something, you know, until I get some epoxy on it and you'll be able to see how good that rolled out. But feels pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, um, especially for not being able to get to the bottom. Like I said, if I get to the bottom of that, it's just such a different ball game. Uh, it's so much easier. Um, pulling with this is good. It's, it's actually really great. Um, but again, just being able to feel underneath the underneath side with a dolly and a hammer and a slapping spoon to me that's that's where it's at because any little highs and lows you can slap them to where they're pretty much non-existent it just I mean literally you you pop it until the black is gone and then you use your metal file and file it down and it's like a brand new piece of metal there so but sometimes you can't get to it. Like I said, there's a brace underneath there, so it is what it is. So I'm gonna leave it at that, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you guys, uh, let's see, probably tomorrow. I'll probably come out and play a little bit more tomorrow. I have to go back to the station Wednesday, so. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. See ya.